Miss G's class, are you ready to hear about the project? I'm excited to share it with you. My kids and I even kind of tried it. I like to test out the projects on them before I give them to you to make sure that you'll be successful. So I know you will because my kindergartner was able to help me as well as my older children too. So we're going to be thinking about Cinderella stories. And when I was thinking about Cinderella stories, um, I know that there are hundreds of versions of them and they've been told in so many different ways. I have a couple that I have at home. This one's Cinderella, but look at the Cinderella, very different looking than the one on the movie, right? So her personality is much different in the story. Um, this is one from Mexico and it's just beautiful. I love the artwork and her and this version and she's just she looks very different from the Cinderella that we know. Mm -hmm. And I even have some other pictures of Cinderella stories that I was excited to see. This one's got an elephant as the character. And her name is Cinder Elephant, of course, right? And there's one called Bubba the Cowboy Prince. And that's a Cinderella story with a boy as the main character instead of the girl. So I was thinking... For your job as a project that I want you to create a Cinderella character. So you're going to do that by just first of all thinking of what kind of name could your character could, could be. And remember that it can be an animal. It could be a boy. It could be a girl. It can be any kind of character because you know in stories characters can be all kinds of different things. They can be people. They can be animals. They can even be objects like I've read books where the pencil is the character. So whatever you want your character of Cinderella to be, that's what it can be. So, so when you think of that, maybe animal or person or or thing, get it in your head and maybe you're going to get you're going to Think of a name. So think of a name. And then once you have the name down, kind of think about what would they be like? So for instance, in Cinderella Skeleton, this character is a skeleton. So thinking about what that character would look like, they are going to be all bones with dankish hair and yellow teeth as described in the book. So kind of think about what they're going to look like. Okay. And then you're going to draw it out. So let me give you an example of what you might come up with. These are ones my kids help me with. So this is Cinder Man, and my kindergartner kind of helped me think of him. She wanted to do a boy. I kind of helped her sketch him out, and she started to go to town on what he would look like and what he would wear, and um, it kind of he likes rainbows, she told me, and he's going to be a guy that's colorful and bright and happy. So this is Cinder Man and her title, Cinder Man. She had just that name down and I thought that was cute. Well, I was inspired by the word withered in our book about how some things were kind of broken down and sort of all drying out. So I thought maybe a title of a book could be Withered Girl. And I kind of started sketching her. She's not quite complete. But we also, I had my other daughter think of one, and she thought of Cinder Pup. So here's Cinder Pup. <laughs> That's the start. And then I have my daughter likes bunnies too, my other daughter, my younger daughter. So this is Bunanella. Bunanella. So, and she looks like traditional outfit at the end of a Cinderella story. But I thought what you can do is be thinking of a name of your character, your new Cinderella character, and then you're just going to draw it out and make, be as creative as you can and have lots of fun making your character. And Miss G has been sending me some of the projects in the past, so I hope that I see some really cool ideas for your Cinderella character. So your job is to create a Cinderella character. You're gonna do three things. You're gonna think about it first. Think, think, think. Then you're gonna come up with a name and you can even do what my children did and we wrote the name at the top. And then you're gonna draw it out thinking about what that character is like. So you gotta think about the characteristics that the character is gonna have. So if it's a bunny, these will look like a bunny, right? And this is the end of the story. But Withered Girl was more like at the beginning of the story. She's kind of drawn 
her hair is kind of withered and she kind of looks down and out. So you could decide which version of your character it's gonna be, but think of a character and then name it and draw it. And I can't wait to see what you do. Thanks for trying it out. Have fun.